He said last week. We are in the mood of celebration. I'm not doing too much of preaching. I'm just talking about some conducts. Conducts. Conduct Christmas celebration. That's what I said last week. Just looking at some guidelines. Just looking at some management, some directions. So please just to have in mind as we celebrate Christmas. So I titled it Some Conduct for Christmas Celebration. Amen. Without taking much of our time, let's not talk about the book of Isaiah. We read chapter 9, verse 6 alone because of our time. Uh, Isaiah chapter 9 from verse uh, just verse 6 alone because of our time. Um, I'm just reading a passage of Christmas, but we are just talking about some conduct that should help us that we need to imbibe in the time of Christmas. Okay, let's take that that's it one that's one verse together. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. And the, and the Bible reads. All together, this Bible says, For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Father, we are so grateful and so blessed to be again in your presence. Thank you so much. Lord, we cannot thank you enough of all that you have done to care for us in this year there have been so much confusion so more worries but in it all one step after the other we are here in this journey unto the end lord we want to thank you for you have been the only reason for our celebration at this moment Amen. how much you pray that lord god as we humble ourselves before you all our sins that lord you may forgive lord jesus Amen. that your presence will be here in a very special way oh lord and that you use your word just to encourage us as we celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. As we remember that you loved us so much that you sent your son to this world. Help us to do it in such a way that brings more praise to your holy name, O oh God. Amen. That we may always be in the center or the center of your will, Amen. bringing glory and honor to your holy name. Amen. Help your word into our heart again tonight, Amen. Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for all that you are going to do here. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Thank you, can I have your seat? Very quickly, I said last week that we need to have some guiding condors as we celebrate the birth of our Lord. We read, we read from Matthew chapter 1, verse 27 last week that uh, verse, uh, uh, verse 23 that said his name is called Emmanuel. And it means, and it, it means God with us. And I said, God chose to be close to us. Among all things that God created, God wants to be with you and I. God does not want to stay away from us. He wants to be close to us. At Christmas, we are reminded that God chooses to be our company. More important than anything at Christmas, we should remember that God always wants to be with you. He wants to walk with you. He wants to be part of everything you do. He wants to make your life. He wants to be the most important one to us. We may not always have everything in the world, but we have God and that's enough. And more than this word, he has shown us that he will be with us forevermore. That's what he said. For where I am, there he will be also. He said, if these things were not so, I would have told you. So therefore, he said, the first thing that we need to keep, what to remember at the time of Christmas should be one conduct that we must have that keep Christ in Christmas celebration. Keep him. Make, make him 
all about your celebration. I submitted to you again. Christmas is not about you. Christmas is not about me. Bless God. Christmas is all about Jesus Christ. And we should make it all about him. He's the one that should be most important to us. We want to eat, we want to marry, we want to fall. But not at the expense of keeping the celebrant away. So keep him in your Christmas. Keep him in your celebration. Secondly, I said, use good wisdom financially. Hey, don't misappropriate your phone in the time of celebration. What you are not capable to do, do not. No, 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 no. That's, that's not celebrating God. Every celebrating God. Every daddy and mommy and children need to understand that this is our capacity and this is how much we can do. But we need to teach, we need to teach that to our family so they will learn how to you know, to find that contentment in whatever is provided. You see, all contentment has really become a trouble in the world we are living today. Then we have to teach our family. We need to know. Husband and wife need to understand that for themselves. Our children need to get that through. Don't spend your time. Don't spend your faith promise giving. Don't spend your offering that belongs to God. And say, God understands. God doesn't understand that. And I told you that, remember that after Christmas, jewelry is coming. Expensive. School fees. Plan how much you can spend and how much you can save. And, 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 and give to God what, he, what, what God deserves, what God demanded from you. As much as God needs you, do to help other people as well. So, financially, be careful. Amen. Be careful. I mentioned another thing. I said, learn how to receive rights. Learn how to receive rights. Hey, don't be full of expectations that people must give you. Uh, and when people give to you, let them be happy that you appreciate it. And this is I'm giving them money. You have to lift up his nose and lick, say, Is this how much I have got? You are more than this now. Ingratitude has become the global attitude. And it's sad. And we, we, we have to learn to make our, our generation that are coming behind us too need to learn to understand that we, know, we need to know the value of things. If I give us are beginning to tired of giving. I'm saying give us are beginning. Are, no, we ought not to have any excuse from doing what God asks us to do. But, but sometimes, humanly speaking, humanly speaking, the way people around us misunderstand and they don't want to appreciate how much is done to them is causing givers to be tired of giving. I don't want to go back. I don't want to give back. I want to be rushing because I, I, I just want it to be, I just, this conduct to just be that which we look at for the rest of the year. So I want to, I want to, I have a lot, a lot of points with me, but I want to see whether I can run mentioning them as much as instead of, instead of, instead of dwelling too much in them. Number, number four, decide to give. Decide to give at Christmas. Not only receive, but you too. You know, to, to give is a choice. Like it's something you have to learn to do. No, it's not always easy to give out. For unto us, a child is born. And unto us, a son is given. It takes God making his own mind that I want to share them. He made up his mind. We, God doesn't need to, God doesn't have to save us. Hey, there is no anything that compared God 
to save you and I. It's God's choice. Amen. It's God's will. And thank God for that mercy. Thank God for unconditional action of God to rescue you and I as one Christmas. Christmas reminded us that God greatly bestowed upon mankind. God for God so loved the world that he gave. It is because God gave and I received that I am saved. You are not saved in any other way. But because God gave, gave it and you receive it. And that's all. He hope, that's, what the, that's why the choir told us, the, uh, the press choir told us this evening that we, we hold us nothing. Somebody say when he gave it to I, I always say that. That when God gave us, Jesus, he gave us his only. His only. God does not have, God does not have two of Jesus. He gave us only. When God gave us Jesus, he gave us his best. When God gave us Jesus, he gave us his heart. When God gave us Jesus, he gave us himself. Himself. Himself is the only that he has. Himself is the best that he has. Himself is the horse. Yeah. He did all. God gave you. No one like Jesus, Jesus, Jesus can now teach us that it is more blessed to give than to receive. This is now learn at this time to give. No matter how little it is, give. No plan just to receive. Learn to give something to someone. Don't be. And, and then he continued to tell us in his word that God loves a cheerful. God loves givers. Don't love the girl. Who gives also shuffle? But don't be like that boy, yo. The boy I told you sometimes ago. That was given 10 naira and 5 naira. Give God one out of that money, spend the other. Give God one out of the money and spend the other. Either five naira or ten naira. Give God one, spend the other. And then he heard the person said, God loves the cheerful giver. So, ah, he was already in the between opinion whether to give five naira or to give ten naira. And when he heard the person said, God loves cheerful giver, he said, Thank you, Pastor. You just solved my problem. I cannot cheerfully give God ten naira, <laughs> but I can cheerfully give him five naira. So why giving him why giving him ten naira and I'm be grumbling? So he cheerfully give God five naira. I cheerfully spend ten naira. It's because we just don't have that attitude to just want to give out. It's costly to give. Yes, yes, things are difficult. There is no one that no matter how small it may be, it is not how much, but the spirit of caring for others. Husband, give to your wife too. Husband, you don't know, you don't know how to shop. You don't know how to shop. Let it. Let it. Echo. Our wife. No, I should have let let it give something to your wife too. I think at Christmas, sometimes wife doesn't get more too. We only give them money to prepare food and that's all. We will have I can see how mommies are smiling. Say, ah, that's true. Tell them. Yeah, they need to give us gift. Maybe I can get Christmas gift this <laughs> Oh, too bad, you're not laughing no. Ah, what happened? I know you are, I know you have done your own. I know you have done your own. Ah, you are not. <laughs> I suspect this laughter. Hey. Amen. Give up. Come on. That, that is even taken out of our God. Who hey. gave everything? Hey. hey, hey, not only that. Remember, another one. Number five. Remember the hurting ones. The hurting. At Christmas. Oh, the time of Mary. Somebody was asked, 
What time is Christmas? Is it is a time of fall. Is it a time of food? And it's a time of family. Four food family. Maybe we should add faith to it. Faith for food and family. What is it so? Is, is it time that we want to come together and rejoice? It's good. Hey. Whether you believe it or not, there are some people that cannot celebrate Christmas. That's right. Amen. You have to understand that. Sometimes we are too insensitive that we don't even know. Sounds insensitive. You would have those people. The soldiers who are serving our country. Who lay their lives on ground. Online for us. Do we even remember to pray for them? There are some wives that are going to celebrate the first Christmas without their husband. Children. First husband without their parents. Their father. Hey, that are going to celebrate first Christmas without their son and their daughters. We know some of the first soldiers who died. Some, 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 some of them who died in the recent months. Their parents are going to celebrate Christmas this year without their children. Can you see now? Remember the haughty ones. What about our doctors? What about our doctors? Because of coronavirus and all of those things that they put their life online. There is no even put enough protection from them, for them as they serve in the hospital. By the way, that's why it's so much open for them. Many of them are traveling out of the country and seeking green pass, green pass, green pass. Christian, we don't have to be insensitive. Some have lost their loved ones, they are crying. They are bereaved. So, so this situation just happens to some people right now. Add, add, add eggs here and there. Some are struggling to save the life of their loved one in the hospital. Huh? All this time of buying chicken and going up and down, they are continuing to go to hospital. Oh, show them your love. Pray for them. Give them what you can give to them. Show some sense of care. And if we have anyone like that among us too, hey, listen now, you are not unfortunate. Our life goes out to you. Our love goes out to you. You are still our brother and our sister. You are not forgiven. You are not forgotten at all. Or are you forsaken at all? We will continue to love you. And every one of us will go to be touchy. We all to be touchy. Help Pray. Love them. Be around them. And let me also say that be careful how you judge others too. Don't be judgmental too. I know a mother that I know a mother that now because there's no way you can take care of her family. She cannot when other people are asking for her children to come to their house for her house help. For the, she doesn't have any choice that just to let those kids go. Eh? So, oh, for us, oh, for us, the the price of money. Oh, 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 Easy for us to look at it as if it doesn't. Hey, you are not going to be a children, but we should give thanks. It is the privilege and the grace of God. This is about pray that God will help them. They will not have been so so many things. Remember the hot ones. At this time of Christmas, yeah, it's good for us to remember those who are hurting. Let me tell you, let me tell you some before I go again. Another one, another one. I said some. Keep Christ, keep Christ in Christmas. Use good, good wisdom financially at Christmas. Learn to receive right. Eh? Decide to give, but to give. Remember the haughty ones. Then don't use this period to miss church. Hey, this is the time that we relax a lot. Though. It's time of four. There's less of I don't go around like a boy. That God is not even difficult. Yeah. Let's show the world 
how much we love Jesus by not missing out of church. Jesus will be so much glad that we are celebrating him with our attendance in church. Don't plan to engage activities that will keep you out of church. Be faithful. Your faithfulness will celebrate Jesus more. Maybe, maybe your faithfulness may be an encouragement to people who does not even see reason why they will go to church. Some people are just walking carelessly and carelessly. They may see a reason to go because they see that you are, you are faithful from the beginning. And when you invite them, they may come. Don't let me go. To, don't use your, this time of festivity to miss out. It is still true that do not forsake the assembly of the believers. Even at Christmas. Even at Christmas. Even at Christmas. Eh? Don't be too busy for church. If I, be busy with church. Don't be too busy for church. If I, be busy with church. I don't want to do that. Don't ignore your duty at Christmas. Your duty for the Lord at Christmas. Hey, it's good to serve God now. It's it good to go so really. Everything you are doing as your duty for the Lord, don't quit. Don't relax. In fact, be passionate. The Bible said that what we know that our service, our work for Him is not in vain. So work hard, work hard. Tell others, continue to work hard. So don't ignore your service. Don't ignore your service for the Lord at Christmas. Let me move. Let me move. I want to run a little bit. I don't know what I will say at this time of Christmas. Hey, don't keep Christmas to yourself. Pass it out. Pass out Christmas. The birth of Jesus was declared that day he was going to be born. That, 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 or to his first parent. His name shall be called Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. The beauty of Christmas is not the journey we read that, that Joseph and Mary successfully are to Bethlehem of Judea. No. <laughs> it was not the, the, the glorious song of the angels who announced his birth. <laughs> oh, about the shepherd. <laughs> oh, about the wise man. <laughs> the greatest message of the Christmas that how to you, a Savior is born in the city of David. So if there's anything you want to pass out at this time of Christmas, hey, Jesus say, Jesus say, Jesus say, Jesus say, nothing must take that away from you. Jesus say, and he still say, his blood is still able to rescue, to deliver, and to save. Take that war. Do, do not eat too much of fall and chicken so much that you forget. Mark it that before this Christmas period moves out, I must share the gospel with someone. If I pray that God should give you somebody that will hear the gospel and will love to come to church. Don't keep it to yourself. Don't keep it to yourself. It's better to tell other people too. Amen. Amen. I hope you are keeping the list in your mind. Conduct, some behavior, some things that we should have in mind that will help our Christmas celebration to be more spiritual than to be secular. That will give us sweet memories, sweet memories 
sweet memory of how we love our Savior and live for Him. That, that makes me jump a little bit. Let me say one more. Let's say, let me say another one. Celebrate Christmas as an occasion that we come to an end. Celebrate Christmas as an occasion that we come to the end of Christmas is coming. Amen. Amen. Christmas. Hey, baby boy. Ah, so what's the end of Christmas? I just say you. The end of Christmas is. Okay, yeah, First, to that day we come to end. No matter how sweet that day may be, that celebration it goes on and on at its end. As for just one day, that twenty fifth. But more than that, the act of that celebration, the event is held, is come to an end. That makes you to remember that it's a privilege for you to celebrate it this year. Who told you we may have the opportunity to do it next year? We don't want to hear that. Oh, to celebrate many people. Because people if Christ has not come, Christ has not come. But it's only God that knows. The end of Christmas will definitely come. But you pray, God, oh God, I don't know, I don't know, oh, 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 in many of our history of life, we have never celebrated Christmas that as low as that last year. And also this year, with the only club and other they are talking about, he would have forsaken it and not to be here. That is a sign to tell you that it is possible to end it. And apart from that, for every day of our life, it's a privilege that we are alive to celebrate. So do it, like I said, it may be the last. And do it, and do it properly, that you want to make it purposeful, not just party-like. Purposeful. Hey. Amen, amen. I don't get any amen from you anymore. Amen. Yeah? Amen. Are you afraid? Whether we die or we live, we are of the Lord. We cannot escape from God. So, uh, and we should not be afraid of death. Abi? Yes, sir. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, we only have to cook you. Yes, we are human. We have to feel that way. But we have to be less of our feeling, more and rest more on our faith. So our faith controls our feeling. Oh, I need to give us time to pray. But I wonder what I would have mentioned now is that stay off on godly parties at Christmas. Oh, me team, but to that one, you pay Yakuro, you know, on godly, on godly occasions, on godly functions. I want to say, ah, this is the war. Christmas jams, Christmas music, full of bad music, vulgar language, lot and lot and lot of indecent words in the name, in the name of celebrating Christmas. So that go along with bad behaviors, loaded, loaded, loaded with the wrong use of their bodies, wrong touches, wrong eating, smoking, alcoholic drink, and all. Hey, listen now. Don't be shy to avoid gathering that does not bring glory to God. No matter who organizes that party. Listen to me now. You have to understand today. It is possible for you to engage in party that will mess up your life forever. Only mess it up. Not at Christmas. Plenty, plenty. What initiation? Wrong influences for our young people. Unwanted pregnancies. Lot of death and regret. Evil death. Evil death. 
Avant lui, make Christmas a time of family gathering. Hey, daddy and mommy, you don't have enough time to spend good time and quality time with your family from the beginning of the year. Have it this summer. Take a time. Here then. Some good things about your children have not heard about. Listen to them now. Talk time with your wife too. Share at home. When there's no something in church, share at home. If the door of the church is open, come to the church as family. Let, let, us, be, uh, let us share our faith. Let us share the faith. Let us share the food and let us share the family spirit. He makes the world, he makes the world feel something is missing in their miserable life. Hey, listen up, take to some of conduct this time around at Christmas. And let, let's celebrate it. Let people who are cocoa, let people who are exa- yeah, established, who are hopeful, let people who know they are going to heaven, let people who are not confused, let people who are satisfied, let people who love God and God love God. Amen. Amen. Every head, every head bow.